What's up everyone? Chuck Dupree Sports Cards coming back at you. Uh, quick mail day. A um, couple different packages. A um, uh, card I picked up from Dearman. Uh, some cards I picked up from Ethan when he was doing a sale for Fraylin. And then uh, some cards I picked up from um, from the Beast. Be uh, Beast and Beauty Breaks. I uh, was doing a sale to help raise some money for um, the uh, sponsorship of Rad and his... Um, his Little League team um, for next year, but also his Cal Ripken, Cal Ripken League uh, for this year. Uh, Going to be making a banner for that. So very cool. Definitely check out Beast and Beauty Breaks. Awesome dude. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it, show you guys uh, some of what I got. First of all, will be the card I picked up from Jeremy. He uh, sold it, I believe, on Ethan's Discord. Um, I got it just because the guy plays for the River Dogs and they used to be one of my nicknames back when I was into fantasy sports because I live in Riverside and I work at a pet store so people started calling me River Dog so I thought it'd just be funny to have that so I picked that up and he had it for a ridiculous cheap price. And then here's some cards that I picked up during Ethan's sale. Um, this one is an Alex Rodriguez Absolute Lava. The camera really doesn't do much justice to it but that one I picked up from Mr. Enfuego so that'll be headed your way really soon. And then these, this next group of cards, I also picked up for somebody else in the card community. But a whole bunch of Mookie Bets from a set that they did in 2019. So these will be going to Brandon Jensen, the GOAT. Another awesome dude in the card community. Uh, he is the treasurer for what we're trying to do for uh, Red and the um, Little League uh, team. And raising money to help sponsor them and help the kids out and help the coaches out. Then here's some cards that Ethan always throws in extras in his sales. So these are the extras he's throwing. But a Jose Abreu, my favorite current White Sox. Nick Madrigal, still very sore that we traded him for a putts reliever to the Cubs. Gorgeous Bowman Platinum Jose Abreu. Very nice. A select Liam Hendricks. And then also a Paul Goldschmidt home run, uh, home run challenge card. It's expired, but that's fine. I don't care. Um, you know, it's just part uh, part of my my Goldschmidt collection. So very cool. Thank you very much. And then here's some cards that I uh, that I bought. Uh, Jose Abreu short print card. I can't remember if I had this one or not, but you can never have too many Jose Abreu. So I picked that one up. This one I picked up, um, it's not in the greatest shape, but I mean, it's an old classic. It's a vintage Gary Carter rookie card. That's not the price I paid for it. That's just a sticker that was on there, but got a great deal on that. And like I said, corners are kind of rough, but I mean, come on, it's from 1975. I mean, what can, and like I said, it's Gary Carter. It's not like it's going anywhere. This one, I can't remember what I paid for this, but I got a, a ridiculous deal on this. But a Gary Sheffield autograph, so that's very cool. Go in my my vintage player, my, you know, um, autograph collection. So very very cool. Uh, this um, next card um, floored me in the sale. Um, Jeff DeMarco picked this one up for me. Um, he knows how much I love, you know, the United States, you know, the USA, as you can tell by some of my stuff and you know on the screen. Um, I have a huge USA collection. Um, but he, um, during Fraylin, uh, the sale for Fraylin, he picked this one up. It's a um, the USA patch, but I don't know if you can see it in there. Maybe there, but number one of one. He, he bought it in the auction and uh, gifted it over to me. So very, very cool. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Um, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. Jeffrey DeMarco is always, always doing something unbelievable in Ethan's sales for, for people in the card community. Um, another great dude. I don't, um, I don't even, I'm not sure if he does videos or not, um, but you know, sub him anyways, you know, maybe we can talk him into doing some videos. And then now we'll get into what I picked up from the beast. These I did, um, I already unwrapped because he does an awesome job of shrink wrapping these things too. I took them out of the envelope, saved some time. I absolutely love the way that Beast um, does his packaging. But like I said, he was doing a sale to help uh, raise some money uh, for the sponsorship of Rad. 
and he had a bunch of this year's Team USA. So I, had, of course, I had to pick up some. So this one is Christopher Villeman, numbered 189 of 250. Big old napkin. Kind of a lazy autograph, but most of the guys do that now anyways. I also picked up this one just because um, a lot of the guys in the card community, they cracked me up with this Hans Kraus guy. Um, especially uh, Mike at Ripping for Rookies. Uh, he just, I ain't kidding, he cracks me up. So it's like when uh, when um, John put one of them up, I can't even remember what it cost. It was only like a couple bucks, two, three bucks, I think, at most. I was like, I had to jump on it. It's just too funny. So I picked that up literally just, just honestly for the fun and, you know, for the memories that I have with this card community. And then here's some more USA cards that I picked up from them. A Henry Allen, numbered 171 of 399. Big old napkin, a little nicer autograph. And then we got a Daniel Susak, number 29 of 250. Very, very cool. Open up this other pack. Uh, this is the one I should open first. Got a nice sticker. I'll add that to my box with the other stickers from uh, from everybody. Another USA card, number two of 250, Brandon Sprout. And then, let's see, Ethan Long, number 31 of 49. So very, very cool. Next package. See, we got another USA uh, autograph of Jaden Hilton, numbered 375 of 499. Very cool. And we got Cade Fisher, number 115 of 499. And then this one I picked up. I can't remember what I paid for. It was just, it's just a really cool looking card. One of those, um, I think it's called a Pulsar, but the red Pulsar. Again, the camera just does not do this justice, but this card is absolutely sick. And it's numbered two of 11. But like I said, I just picked it up because it's an absolutely gorgeous card. Then I pick up a couple cards that he um, that um, he asked, you know, what everybody collected. So I mentioned some of the players I collected and he's got some of those new, um, the Topps Platinum, uh, Topps Chrome Platinums. So he um, bought a Yohan Mankata one of my favorite white socks. And then a Goldschmidt, the Black Diamond, I believe it's called. But that's an absolute gorgeous card. Again, it's one of those ones that the cameras just don't do it justice. You really need to see it with your own eyes. And we got one last pack. Two more cards. We got another one of those platinum ones of Jimmy Lambert, a rookie for the White Sox. Don't know nothing uh, much, actually don't know anything about this guy. But hey, you know what, who knows? He might turn out good someday. And then this one I picked up because um, it's got the camouflage uh, patch on it, so I thought it'd go nice in my USA collection. But a dual, uh, dual patch of Elias Diaz, Tools of the Trade from Absolute. So very cool, thank you once again, Beast. You are awesome. Um, again, man, and, you know, if, if you guys aren't subbed to John, check him out, um, check out his streams, the guy, the guy is absolutely phenomenal what he does for uh for this card community and what he's currently doing to help out rad it it literally it blows my mind and it's just an honor that i get to be part of the card uh, the card community with him um but that's it for now um i think i have one or two packages coming up um another time so i'll make uh, i'll make a um, a mail day for those but until then i'll just see you guys all around the uh the channels again um check out john at beast and beauty breaks check out jimmy at redbeard breaks brandon jensen top loaded R um rocky at rad dad and where's b dog steve rademacher mr and fuego mike at ripping for rookies canadian card breaks uh jeff shaw and if i'm missing anybody i am super super sorry uh j and j breaks um very cool dude um check him out also all these guys are helping out um with the uh with you know with the plan to help out uh rad and his team next year and just give these kids 
you know, the best year of their life playing baseball. You know, just reminding them that, you know, baseball is a kid's game, it's supposed to be fun. So, you know, we're gonna do what we can to make it fun, take as much stress off of the coaches as possible, because then that keeps it fun. Um, you know, just lots of things that we're gonna be doing. So, I mean, like I said, check them all out in the car community. Um, I'll try to tag a bunch of them. I'm not very good at doing all that, but I'll try to tag as many as possible. But um, check them all out, and if any of you guys can, please help out um, with what we're doing for Red and the Little League team. And good luck to Red um, this weekend. He's starting the state tournament. Um, when, um, if he wins this tournament, goes to regionals. Win regionals, he gets to go to Williamsport. And I mean, that's just, that's, that's awesome. I really want to say something else, but I'm going to try to keep it clean because I do have some young subscribers too. But that would be absolutely awesome if uh, Red. And then there's also, I can't remember his channel name, but Liam is also still in the, uh, in the running for the uh, Little League World Series. So, I mean, check these guys out. Support them as, as much as you can. Um, until then, see you guys around.